What's up guys, Tommy Bowyer here from Movie Rewind and today we will be reviewing Captain Marvel, a movie which is probably more controversial than any other Marvel film released so far. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in terms of character development, I don't actually mind the characters in this movie. I think that Marvel do what they did all the time. They have quite likeable characters in this movie. And as for some people who are claiming that there's a bit of you know, there's too much feminism in this movie. I don't think that uh, Carol Danvers, who is Captain Marvel, I think that she doesn't actually have that massive feminism, you know, women are better than men vibe coming out of her. I mean, I've seen Doctor Who series 11, which is kind of the pinnacle of that. So I actually don't mind the characters. And, you know, Nick Fury is actually quite funny in this movie. He's probably the funniest character in this movie. And I don't actually mind that the character development they do on Captain Marvel in this movie. I thought it was quite good. So that's why I'm going to give character development a 6 out of 10. Honestly, I didn't mind the characters in this movie. I felt that they all had a story to tell and they were very different people from when the film start, first started off to when it ended. In terms of performances, I think that the majority of the performances are strong in this movie. Brie Larson, I remember going into this film, from all the trailers, I got the impression that she was never going to smile in this movie. However, that wasn't true. She actually smiled in this movie and I think that she's quite a likeable actress. No matter what you think about how she potentially has been building up this movie, but... I actually don't mind her. I think she's a likeable actress and she puts in a decent performance as Captain Marvel. And Samuel Jackson's performance as Nick Fury is brilliant. As I've said already, he was the funniest character in this movie. And he's just a really good actor. He's a great actor. So, of course, you know, he's going to put in a good performance. So that is why I'm going to give performances a 7 out of 10. Honestly, I thought the performances were all decent in this movie. There was no real standout performances. Everyone was just doing a decent job, which, you know, isn't that bad. You know, they were good performances. Now, in terms of effects, the effects are decent. You know, they're just like Marvel's other movies. They're all pretty good, up-to-date effects. However, the main effects, which I thought were brilliant, was uh, the work they did on de-aging uh, Nick Fury. And that just looked brilliant. There was no one time when I thought, oh, I think the effects are a bit dodgy there. They just, they were really, really good. You know, and it just shows that in the last 10 years even, uh, effects wise, cinema has just excelled itself. And, you know, they used to only be able to do the de-aging stuff just for a short sequence. So to do it for one of the main characters throughout the entire movie that's just brilliant and the people who put together those effects should be really proud of themselves and that is why I'm going to give effects a 9 out of 10 because they were just breathtaking. As for the story and writing, the storyline is a little weaker. However, I don't think it's dreadful. It's just a story which we've seen before and there's going to be spoilers in this section. We've seen that uh, she's fighting against a common enemy and then she finds out that the people that she's actually fighting with are the true villains. You know, you've seen that before and yeah, it doesn't do anything special. It, you know, it just, it kind of follows the Marvel formula in a way. It's, you know, a villain. However, I do think they did okay with the villains in this movie because I think there's about two villains, probably one main villain. I think they did okay with him, even if he's a bit stereotypical and doesn't really have much character development whatsoever so the story and writing i do feel lets this movie down and that's why the story and writing's going to get a five out of ten because it didn't blow me away so for the special recognition i'm gonna have to give it to the stan lee uh, tribute that they do at the start of the movie. Now that is basically the Marvel Studios intro, however instead of having all of the Marvel characters it just has Stan Lee, all of his cameos and loads of extra and additional scenes and I just thought that was brilliant. For a man who you've, if you've been on this channel for a while you've probably seen the Stan Lee tribute video I did with my friend Matthew Charlton. Uh, for a man who gave so much for the genre, who has defined so many people's childhoods with his characters it was really touching that they had done a tribute like that so that is why that tribute's going to get an 8 out of 10 because that was just brilliant you know you you can't really fault that 
In conclusion, Captain Marvel is a decent Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. It, I think it's been overhyped by people who really are trying to say that there's no criticisms whatsoever. However, I do think that it's been blundered with criticism that it doesn't deserve. In terms of the feminism aspects, I don't think they're that bad, to be honest. I have seen worse in things like Doctor Who Series 11. I think it's just a decent Marvel movie. I mean, I'd put it on the same level as probably Iron Man 2, For the Dark World, The Incredible Hulk. I'd say it's around that boundary. And that is why Captain Marvel gets a well-deserved 35 out of 50 which earns it a grade 3 ranking. Now, this isn't a bad movie. I think it's just a decent movie. However, we're all waiting for Avengers Endgame. That's the Marvel movie we all want to see this year. So thanks for watching, guys. I really do hope that you enjoyed my Captain Marvel movie review. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe in order to receive great and maybe even improved quality content in the future. I have got a massive project coming up which involves comic book movies. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. However, that should be starting probably early April. So, you know, just under a month until I'm going to start that project. It will be one of my biggest projects yet. So, I will see you in the next one. See ya! <laughs>